What's up, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Heat 5. Welcome to Indy Motor Speedway, one of the most iconic tracks in all of racing. Pretty sure this is the, the third oldest track in the world, like solid track. It was built back in the early 1900s. It's like 110 years old or something crazy like that. It's the home of the Indy 500, which is what it's kind of most known for, but NASCARs also drive here, and uh, we're going to be doing the 400 at the Brickyard today. So I'm excited about this. This is, you know, just automotive heaven here. You know what I mean? Like racing in Indianapolis at the Indy Motor Speedway is, uh, is a feat that most drivers want to accomplish in their life. And uh, I believe it's the biggest sporting, like, event stadium location in the world. It holds over 250,000 people, which is insane. So imagine all those people, imagine all those cars, imagine how loud it would be in there. This this would be a pretty cool experience. So let's go ahead and start it up. This is an interesting track. It's it's much more rectangular okay, than go. anything else we race on. It's not necessarily, I mean, it, it, it is an oval, that's for sure. But the, the corners are weird, you know what I mean? Like you, you kind of have, I don't know if that's where I was supposed to come out yet or not. I think we probably wanted to come out down here here would have been the spot to come out at but uh yeah so you have these really really long straights here and then you've got a, a pretty serious corner followed by a little mini straight followed by a pretty serious corner and that's that's just kind of that's just kind of what you get into so we're we're gonna see what we can do to this is i mean it's gonna it's gonna be interesting that's for sure looks like the second corner you can take flat out Careful that wall, Trev. We're good. That's all right. You know, rubbing, rubbing the wall is, is part of a, an important thing. Pretty sure this the start finish line up here. The brick is part of the original uh, original track, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we got to lift and break a little bit through here, and then we get back up to speed. Hit the wall again, and then it looks like this second the second turn. So turns two and four, you're going to be able to take flat out. That's important to know. Such a crazy track, man. You can see all the people out there in their campers and stuff having a great time tailgating. Enjoying the show. See if we can try to perfect this. See, that that was looking a little bit better. As long as we don't hit the wall, we're going to be fine. Ooh, I really like getting close to that wall, huh? Then we can come down here. Hit it just like that. That, see, that was, that was pretty clean right there. I'm not going to lie. They really don't give you a lot of space. I feel like these straights are, are very narrow. So we want a 54.7. We got a 55.3. About a half a second more than where we want to be. You guys see these cutouts in the walls when you straighten her back up? So like we're going to come down through here. And if you look, there's, there's a cutout in the wall for you to be able to get a little bit closer to the wall. We didn't necessarily use it that time. Dude, that is so nerve-wracking. Can you imagine just sitting it through a corner hoping for the best? Hoping your car is going to grab in time? We were 0.1 seconds off of the ideal time right there. Qualifying time, baby. Here we go. This would just be so incredible. Look at all the people in the grandstands. My goodness, that is incredible. That is just so many people. All right, well, we took that a little bit too too far on the inside. We're going to be fine, though. Seriously, though, like so many grandstands. Some of them are double and triple deckers. You've got all the campers out there. You've got the people on the hill over here. I feel like that's the spot. If you wanted to uh, to watch a race, that would, that would be the one you'd want to watch it from. Break a little bit through there. Let's make sure we get down to this apex. Come back up top. Get back around to the main start finish straight here. Feeling pretty good. Get up to that wall. Don't want to touch the wall. Just want to flirt with it a little bit. Just try to make it a little bit jealous. We're going to see what we can do here. Time to qualify. I got to break, 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 break. I feel like that wasn't our smoothest, but that's okay. Get back down. Get up back down watch the apron use that cut out in the wall see if we would have gone a little bit closer to the wall that cutout would have been mandatory we would have been in trouble without it here we go baby I don't 
really know where my my breaking zones and stuff are. I don't have them memorized, so we're just we're, we're going by the feel of it. I feel like that was pretty good right there. Get back up top. Cut it back down. Give a high five to the apex. Not really. We we gave it like a an air, you know, corona bump from a distance. We didn't really hit it, but I feel like we did all right. They wanted a 55086. We gave him a 55.3, which is going to put us in P22. That's better than we did yesterday. So we'll take it. Oh, here we go. This is going to be fun. Let's just get out there and, and enjoy ourselves. This is going to be the only time in our life we get the opportunity to race on a track with this much history. So let's, uh, let's try to make the most of it. Let's try to do our thing and let's, let's hang in there. So this first corner here, since we just got started... We're going to be able to take that full speed, and we should be able to take this, this second corner full speed. Maybe not with the draft. We're going to lift off a little bit here. Definitely want to try to start making moves before the pack thins out too much. I'm going to give them a little bump there. Let's see what we can do here. Coming in, just want to get really light on the brakes. Break enough to be able to... Hit that corner, come back up top, cut it back down low. I'm out of a lift off not to hit these guys. Come on, Priest. Come on, JJ. Let's go, bro. Give you a little bump. And I'm going to try to go up the inside here. Break a little bit. Don't want to break too much. Don't want to break too little. It's a tough one. It's not as tough as Pocono, that's for sure. Last episode of Pocono was, was no joke, so this one seems to be a little bit easier. All right, they're starting to pull off on us. Grab that draft, Trev. Grab that draft. There you go. Hang in there. If they start to pull away from you, that's that's just a, a guillotine for the, the rest of your race, bro. Get on it. Get on it. Get on it. Beautiful corner there. All right. I'm going to try to grab the draft on the Haas here. Come down through here. Maybe be able to get up top. Careful, nope, they're not going to let us up top. So we're going to go down through the inside, baby. Smooth AF. Stay low. You're all, all right, got to be smart. Oh, we came in a little bit too hot. There, He's going to end up taking your inside here, Trev. JJ is. We came in too hot, dude. You, you cannot give it that much gas. Come on, come on. Come on, don't hit the wall. Oh my gosh, so close. Okay. You can't defend that hard either. You can't just push people off the track, Trev. Here we go. That was your own fault. You gotta make sure that you break. You gotta make sure that you hit those apexes. You gotta make sure that you have that, that minimum speed. Otherwise, you're just gonna continuously get in trouble here. You try to do too much, you try to go too fast, you're gonna end up messing yourself up. You gotta, you know, get that speed, carry it into the straights. Probably not a good idea that you pushed him. You just helped him out. Whatever, we'll keep keep helping him out here. All right, gotta make sure we, we break in time though. Careful, still there. Just gotta modulate those brakes, stay close, and do your thing. Here we go. Inside. Try to grab a draft. Try to do anything you can. I'm going to get a draft behind JJ here. Why did he slam on the brakes like that? What was that about? Try to grab a draft. Try to grab a draft. All right. Break, 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 break. Get behind Almarola. Grab that draft. There it is. Now you're going to want to be careful about this. All right. Clear outside. Try to carry it throughout the corner. Ooh. Ah, kind of had to over, over correct a little bit right there to make sure we didn't run into the wall or go flying all over the place, but that wasn't the worst thing in the world. All right, here we go. Again, do not carry too much speed into that corner, Trev. It is better to go slow and smooth than it is to go fast. Might have to work with Jimmy Johnson a little bit here. You're not going to be able to get as low as you would like to. Might have to lift off a bit. Maybe not. We're going to be fine. He's going to get in front of you. Just duck in behind him. We got seven to go. Still Gave there. us a little bump. I'm gonna try to get out without bumping, bumping Jimmy here, but we kind of did give him Careful, a little bit of a boost. 
Here we go. Now we have this inside line, though, so we, we control him. Oh, nope, he got out in front of us. Dang it. I was going to say, we control him. We could control if he can get down to that apex and keep it pinned all the way through, but we could not. So we're going to go fast here. Just a little, a little bump never hurt anybody. All right, make sure you don't go too fast into this corner. Let her roll a bit. Slowly ease onto the gas. Perfect, baby. Claim your spot up here. Come back down to the apex. Keep it pinned all the way through. Oh my goodness, that was a smooth, smooth pass right there. Just got to keep doing that. We're up at a P16. We're feeling pretty good. I did not expect to do this well here, but I, I, I feel like we're, we're, we're getting there done. The only thing that can help us at this point is some sort of a, a caution or something so that we could get the, the pack back together. We do have a, a bit of a gap between us and everyone else at this point. Everybody's kind of spread out, so it's going to be harder for us to nab those uh, nab those drafts and such. Dude, we are we are looking smooth here. I'm really loving what we're what we're cha <coughs> chaining together. Voice is getting a little bit dry. I should have a water somewhere. I'm not even sure where it is. I'm trying to catch up to whoever's here in front of us. I'm not sure who it is. Dude, that... That caution, if it could come right now, that would that would be beautiful. We kind of took this one a little bit wide, but we might be able to transition that into more power through the straight. We'll see. Starting to get a little bit loose. All right, we need, we need to focus, Trev. Talking about how good we're doing, and then we're... Oh! Starting to really get a little bit loose and a little bit sloppy here. Come on. Three to go. Make sure we lift. Break a little bit. Inside. Not too much. Jimmy Johnson got us. Shoot, dude. We're definitely losing tread and, and traction and stuff like that. I can feel the car getting looser. It's, it's making me a little bit nervous. So that's fine. He can he can go around us, but then we can we can also go around him. Might be able to start start kind of leapfrogging a bit to be able to, to catch up to the guy in front. Make sure you break enough. Take that inside line. All right, you're clear. All right. Nice pass back. Oh, do I see smoke? I thought I saw smoke for a second. Maybe not. Don't hit the wall, Trev. Oh, dude, I'm. I, it's. Ah, I was feeling so good early on. I was feeling so good early on, but now that we've gotten a bit looser, it's it's definitely definitely gotten gotten a bit more difficult. He's pretty solidly in front of us here. We got about one and a half to go. Man, I, I mean, I would I would love to try to try to push to pass him back. I, I'm definitely gonna try, but I'm not gonna kill ourselves. You guys can see how loose this car is getting. I really don't want to throw away a great race overall. Ooh, we had a way better corner than he did right there. Look at this speed that we're carrying into this straight here. I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do, dude. Make sure you break in time. Let her coast long enough. You're fine, Trev. You're fine. You're fine. Careful, still there. Get up high. Bring it back down low. Oh, oh watch that apron, though. Watch that apron. Inside. Try to try to get this draft, Trev. You might be able to get around him. Come on. Break, 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 break. Still there. All right, Hold it clear. together. Hold your line. Accelerate. Oh, he's going back around us. No. Oh! We're not going to be able to get him. It's all right, dude. P17 is pretty solid. When we start? 23rd? Oh, shoot. The wheels really starting to get crazy. P17 off of a 23rd or 22nd start. You know, we did make some moves. It was kind of a boring race in the fact that there was no action. There were no flags or anything. So it made it hard for us to do much more than that. But I feel like we put up a really solid, really clean, just like good looking performance there. You know, not, nothing extreme, but it was just like all of it was really nice until it started getting a little bit questionable at the end. But I think that kind of happens for everyone. So... Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Such an iconic track, dude. I loved it. So I think what I've decided, 
I think we're gonna play through the rest of the season, but I do think we're gonna be skipping some races. There are a couple of tracks that just like, they don't look that exciting, like Kentucky. New Hampshire is a short track we might end up doing, but I'm basically gonna go through the rest of this season and I think I'm gonna play all of the, the tracks we haven't raced yet. Like we've got repeats at Vegas, Texas, Martinsville, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm thinking that if it's a track we've already raced, we're gonna skip past it, we're gonna simulate it. But we are going to go to the end of the first season, is I, I think where we're going to end up. And I think I might have a surprise for you guys. The one track we might replay is uh, is Daytona. So uh, look forward to that here in a few episodes. So thank you guys so much for watching. It was actually a pretty solid performance there at uh, Andy Motor Speedway. And I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see you guys next week. And not Kentucky. Kentucky just sounds a little bit boring. See, that's what I was saying. I'm thinking let's uh, Kentucky, New Hampshire, Michigan we already did. I'll see you guys next week at Watkins Glen, which is going to be a road course. So let's actually, let's let's just skip these and see what happens. 27th at New Hampshire. Not bad. I guess that's a bit of an improvement. They are kind of giving us some, some pretty high up, high up placements. These are, these are a little bit worse than, uh, than I would expect out of us normally. And then this is our last one. We're going to go and sim this one because we've already raced at Michigan. So let's see where we end up going here. This is an aggressive song in the background. They are screaming pretty hard. Uh, 24th. So looks like it got better with each one that we did. And that's going to take us to the next week to race number 24 of the season. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.